Last but not least, we're going to continue with uh, Jimmy Kobe. Um, Jimmy has most recently been appointed as uh, the National Film Board of Canada's Director of General Technologies. Uh, he joined the NFB more than 18 years ago as an engineer, and he has a bachelor's degree in computer engineering. Um, and at the NFB, he played a leading role in conceptualizing and operationalizing the digitization, restoration, accessibility, and preservation processes for the NFB's works. And uh, yes, so I'll give over to you. Yeah, thank you very much. Uh, I will try to do it the, the best I can interactively with you. So feel free to oh, wait at the end to ask questions because I have a limited time. Okay, okay. so my keep your questions. Um, thank you very much to, to invite me. And it's a, it's a lot of money to bring people from Canada here. So I said, should I, uh, and could I do it better than ChatGPT? And I asked ChatGPT, how would you archive a digital interactive documentary? So I will try to have a better answer that, but it's pretty, pretty cool what they, they, they said. Probably they, they, <laughs> they check on a, a different um, post that I did uh, over the internet, but it's, uh, it's pretty cool. So everybody knows the context of uh, we're sorry. Uh, we saw that uh, yesterday uh, and we saw so that uh, uh, for the public facing at the NFB, uh, when you reach uh, for McMoney or I rise out my window, there's a message telling that no longer available, it's part of our DNA to do archiving. So more and more and more, but now I'm here to show you what uh, we have done behind the scene, not public facing yet, uh, and I think the a question will be raised about uh, what what will come next. Uh, so that's it. As on my introduction, uh, Vanessa talked about uh, my um, expertise and my um, uh, my background at the NFB. So to put it in context, the NFB exists since 1939. Okay. We have over 14,000 uh, linear production and more than 150 interactive production web, uh, web application, VR, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. But I wanted to have the, the same preservation strategy for both uh, gen uh, genre. Okay, so what do we preserve? Uh, we preserve the cataloging, so all the documentation that we could have for uh, a production, which, and I will demonstrate to you later on that in our internal system, it's what we doing with linear production and interactive production as well. Uh, source asset, which is very, very, very important. Uh, we keep all the original source assets uh, for linear production, uh, multimedia content on um, on interactive production and code uh, as well. Okay, and when I say uh, source asset is really the source asset. Okay, standardized in a format that will last forever. So. All the clips that we had into an, inter uh, an interactive production should be archived separately from the, uh, the experience uh, at the highest resolution possible on a standardized format. And at the end, the experience. So that's where the trick is. On linear production, there's plenty of standard. To do that. If you have a, a linear film shot uh, and released in 1960, uh, of course you don't have exactly the same experience when you see it uh, today, but there's standardization over years to publish it uh, over uh, 
television, uh, web, and, and theater. And if it doesn't follow the rules uh, for theater, it could be rejected. But for the entirety of production, we don't have any uh, uh, normalization except this file format, which is the web archive. So the web archive is standardized by the ISO. Okay, it was part of my, my, my research and part of the strategy that we, we put in place. So, to do a recapitulation of all the three steps, using, as an example, out my window uh, of Katerina, uh, who she, she, she talked about uh, later on this, this, uh, this afternoon, we did all the cataloging, okay, of, uh, uh, of it. So description, credit, process, but the, the best as we, we, we could uh, re receive and probably some graphics of might on that and things. After that, we have kept all the source assets available that came from the, uh, the production. So, uh, pictures, uh, vi video content, uh, everything is, and, and this interface only show uh, a web version, but behind the scene we have the, the high resolution at high, uh, um, uh, very big for, format we use, as um, to show you, we use a DPX5 format to store video content, so it's uncompressed, uh, not proprietary. It's very uh, uh, so. In fifty years, I'm gonna be able to read it again, and I hope to be alive again in fifty years. And all those assets are their own metadata to describe uh, everything. And of course, you need to have a, a strong backend. To, to put those files in a place that will be secure, okay? So their strategy around, around that, uh, it's digital file. So if it's a file for interactive production or linear production, it's the same back, uh, back end. So now the most interesting part, the experience. What about the experience? I um, told you about uh, the web archive uh, file format. It's a file format, and there, there's, is there any archivist in the room? No, huh? Okay, this, this graph will talk to, to them, but basically, we use this file format, the work, to submit into our archive and we can retrieve this work for file format and play it back again. Okay, it's what we have we have done, and it's a collaboration we have done with the uh, uh, the company um, Horizon in the uh, USA, uh, who was uh, owning the web recorder. Okay, uh, so it was important for us. The development we have done return to the community. It's an open source uh, project. So later on, I will show you how you can do it yourself. And with by experience, we developed a development guide at the NLB uh, to um, to put the, 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 best, uh, uh, the best guide to be able to achieve a good result at the end and also be able to archive the, the content. That doesn't constrain the, uh, the creator or the production teams. Uh, it's just a guide. If they don't want to follow it because they have a good reason for experimentation, we are not here to tell them, no, don't use this and, uh, uh, because, uh, because it's not written on the guide. It, 
But at the end of the day, everybody knows what what could happen if they don't follow the uh, the uh, the gap. So I will take a little bit of time to demonstrate to you what is behind. Um, I'm currently connected in VPN to the NFB network. Okay, so that's the reason why I can show you uh, those uh, those work because as I, as I said, it's not available to the internet to uh, the public. So here is our um, uh, our system internal system to catalog everything. Okay, and if I take as an example out my window, uh, we have a small button called View Archive Project, and you will see that it's initialing a remote browser, okay, uh, that that be able to play back flash content, who is, and the content is stored into the walk file. So you don't have, uh, you don't need anything else than the walk file. There, there are some degradation, uh, I know, uh, but it's, you keep all the interactivity, so it's it's not staged. What what window you want to 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 see? I will click on it, and uh, and you have all the interactivity. Just playing in front. Yeah. Why is it not open to the public? Huh? Why is it not open to the public? It's open to uh, okay. Uh, keep your question. I will uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, so basically, uh, that's the, 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 the experience pe people uh, have uh, before. And um, available internally. Another one. I don't know if you already. Uh, and for me, it's one of the production that we don't hear about, but that was the very uh, key point at the end of the week of shifting to uh, web documentary. It's called PIB in French, GDP. Okay, it's a web documentary about uh, the uh, crisis of 2008. Uh, so, and we, we launched this project with a lot of production um, teams around the Canada that was showing the, uh, the crisis that we did. So, and very well done, you have a map, and uh, you you can pinpoint a place in Canada that you want to see uh, what's going going on what's going on with the the crisis and very well I done itself. Uh, everybody calling me Jack. Uh, I drive a cab almost fifteen years. Ago. I work when I want, uh, where I want, no boss on the head, you know, and uh, we meet. A lot of different people. So, uh, what it's important and uh, uh, to to remember, it's there's a lot of video clip on this, and all those video clip are kept aside in high resolution, and actually we have some opportunity of distribution uh, aside. Uh, of those uh, those clips so that's part also of the strategy not only keeping the entire experience but all the content individually I know that it's not the same context it's not but we can repurpose the content uh, and uh, and do other um, uh, other um, packaging to distribute and it's part of the strategy 
Bear 71, also a big project at the NLV, complex project. Um, and I want to, to tell you and to be sure that you understand that the web archive, it's, it's a kind of snapshot at a certain moment, okay? Of course, the, 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 this type of, uh, of, of, of work, like format money also, evolved during the time. It's not fixed, but when you, you capture it, it's, uh, it's the state at, at, at the moment. So that's the reason why in, on, on the process uh, at the NLV, we, uh, we capture at different moment. We want to capture it at different moment, okay? Uh, and of course, with uh, those um, uh, those, those uh, production, it was kept only at the end before they put it the, the the switch off, and and uh, uh, and release them from from the web. So, you know the video and the map of that you can. National Park in the heart of the Canadian Rockies. Bears and humans here live closer together than any other place on Earth. That explains the radio caller constantly featuring my location to some radio playing God. There are 15 remote sensing cameras in my home range, plus infrared counters and barbed wire snags to collect my hair. So, um, that was difficult to for us to say, oh, that's that's the the archive that because we did it too late in the process. Okay, we we we, we get the technology too late in the process, and the production teams was not involved in the uh, in the archive process. So, for the upcoming project at the NLV, it's now part of the process of releasing uh, a film, uh, not a, an interactive production. At the end, when we do the quality control of uh, a title, we do at the same time the, uh, the, web, the, the web recording. Because you have to pass over all the path of the uh, the uh, the, the interactive production to catch everything. It won't be played back the same way that you did the interactive path during the, the, the QC, but it's a crawler that, that get all the, uh, the resources from, uh, from, from the, 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 web, uh, the web browser, okay? So that's the good news and the bad news. <laughs> No, I don't have the button. It's we did it for ninety-five percent of our around ninety-five percent of our interactive production. Some of them are too much degraded, de and some it's not possible to do it. It's not a matter of using flash or not flash. It's a matter of all the uh, the production was built okay uh, as an example for for make money um, one of my engineer told me that uh, it's the way the client and the server communicate together we will have to redo this communication path to be able to get it and I asked as again <laughs> chat GPT so, uh, oh, will you suggest to archive the interactive web documentary for Make Money from David Dufresne and the National Film Board of Canada? So he told me that uh, I could, could uh, save the web page, download the video file, preserve the interactive element. I said, no, 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 no. The te technology used is Adobe Flash. So what will you suggest? Again, again and again, 
and I ask uh, the question because I'm not, not satisfied by ChatGPT. For the production for make money, the web recorder doesn't work by the fact the client server calls can be recorded. What will you suggest? And at the end, contact the National Film Board. <laughs> so. Okay, David? That's, uh, yeah. <laughs> so it, it, it's very interesting to, uh, and, uh, it was a part of my interaction during the, the, the last two days of uh, having this very cool. So if I go back to uh, my, uh, my presentation, uh, I'm, I'm okay with the time? Okay. Oh, okay. So um, you um, you probably have a question of okay, you, you did all those work with uh, Rhizome and now it's public, but it took take a really good uh, infrastructure. Okay, at the end of it to 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 archive them and also to play it back them. Okay, you see that it's very fluid because I'm alone, no, the, uh, the infrastructure, we are Saturday, nobody's work at the, uh, the NFB, except me. Uh, and, you know, it's resource consuming to play back the archive, okay? It's one of the reasons why it's not uh, uh, published to the public, uh, but, resources we can with the with the cloud we 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 are in in a position to uh, to expand uh, but you don't need to have all this big infrastructure to do it by yourself okay we have a good a, a big catalog and as an example you go to web uh, recorder net dot net um, look at all the tools. I will uh, check my uh, all the tool. You have all the documentation how to download it, how to grab uh, um, uh, a, a web uh, web documentary or a web page. Okay, how to replay it and it's available for free for everyone. So yesterday, when I heard the, uh, the presentation of Martin, I said, hmm, that could be interesting. And I, I heard also the, the question of, uh, uh, of uh, online that ask, that I might, that ask, oh, uh, if you don't have enough bandwidth, uh, all you could play it back in my mind, said, just download the web archive file and play it back locally. And that's what I've done. So this is the uh, a graph of your production that you, you, you demonstrate yesterday. It's locally played back by the the walk file. <laughs> it takes more resources. Okay. And to be sure that we are all aligned, I can stop my my uh, my network. Okay. It's. Really, let, let's see if uh, in my network I uh, am doing some bad with. Task. Uh, no, not that one. More detail. Okay. Performance. You know, the internet, there's no, 
there's no nothing that coming from the internet. It's locally. Maybe this one I did not catch. Oh yeah, it's coming. But but I did it very fast and doesn't go on all the path uh, to record it. Uh, so uh, that's maybe the the reason why it's missing some video. But if you do it during your uh, quality control process, you just add and the tool is very easy to, to use. I will show you the tool. You go to uh, whatever, one, La Presse. It's a journalist place and you have this record button, start, you start it and record it, we start after a few seconds. Okay, and it, it grabbing all the URLs. Stop it and then you'll be able to browse the archive. That's, that's my old one. That's the one I already got. And I can download it, download the walk file and play it locally. So basically with my uh, structure that I had show you, the walk file is part of the repository that we put the, the file like another file uh, and we have the process to, to be sure that it will be kept on the good uh, media and we uh, think, but it's a file that I can play back. And you only need this player that is a replay web page, also available here. Replay web page, you install this and when you open it, He asks you to choose the file. Uh, download of desktop. Load. Yeah, that's it. So basically, you you can do it your, yourself uh, and add. Uh, and have your uh, archive file, which is not very different than the Wayback Machine that you use to, to probably to see in the internet. The only difference is it's the evolution that we have done at the NFB with Web Recorder uh, to enhance the product, uh, embed a browser for flash content, so on and so on. So that's Basically, what I had to up oh, lesson learns after fifteen years. Um, follow the web guide uh, if you want to have a proper. Um, oh, if you want to have a proper uh, archive at the at the end, uh, of course. Um, I know that I did a, a, a small um, uh, intervention this morning to tell us, okay, if you do less complexity for the user, it will help also the, uh, the archiving of, of the process. But at the end, this is not what we tell us to creator, that we told, we tell them that, but it's up to the production and the creators to do what they have to, to do. At the end of the day, that's, that's their, pro their product. But it's something that we have learned. So, questions, comments? I, you already have one. Yeah, you answered the question already because like you said it's too... Uh, no, it, th this is not the real reason. Oh. It's one of the reason. It's uh, one part of the, the reason. Of course, 